Once you've filled out all your paperwork and collected all of the necessary documentation, you are ready to go to your TA appointment. In this video, I'll be giving you a checklist of all the different things you need to bring, walking you through what it's like to go to that TA appointment, and to finally pick up your physical mm -hmm. TA card. So let's run you through the checklist. You will need your EX-17 or Modelo de Solicitud de TA. The TASA 790 Código 12, Model 790 Code 12, and some kind of proof of payment. This is from a bank. Your volante de empadronamiento, your carta de nombramiento or letter of appointment, your proof of insurance, some kind of proof of entry into Spain if you don't already have a passport stamp, something like a travel itinerary, for example. Passport picture, make sure it's the correct size for Spain and also looks like you. And finally, your passport. Make sure to have copies and originals of all the documents you provide. It's recommended that you keep the originals for yourself and you submit the copies to the agent at the appointment. If you need help filling out any of the paperwork or are confused about any of the documents shown, either leave a comment down below or check out the other videos that we've done explaining all the different paperwork processes, which leads us to actually going to the appointment. On the day of your appointment, make sure you have all of your documents ready to go and know where you're going, of course. <laughs> Not everyone will be going to the appointment at the same place. There are a bunch of different offices for the National Police in Madrid, and so you and a friend, for example, may not have the same place that you're going to for your TA. If you don't yet have one of the required documents for the TA by the time your appointment rolls around, remember that demand for TA appointments is always very high, especially so during the beginning of the year. Consider canceling your appointment so someone else can take it. If you're running late to your appointment, don't worry too much. Um, it's better that you show up to your appointment as long as it's on the same day than miss it and need to make a new one. You're not penalized for missing an appointment, but the penalty itself, which is not having a TA, is pretty bad. <laughs> Personally, when I went to get my TA, I went to the Aluche office. Aluche, or the office on Avenida Poblados, is a really distinct building. <laughs> it's really interesting, kind of uh, freaky. It reminded me of Squid Game a little bit. Um, <laughs> so it was kind of easy to find. You literally walk out of the Luce station. I think you turn left and then Avenida Poblados just takes you straight to the police headquarters. The process was overall super easy. Essentially, I just went through security as you're bound to do at any location because they are national police offices. You show your appointment confirmation and they send you to a line. You stand in line for a little bit until someone is ready to help you process your TA application. And at that point, you're sent to an agent. The agent looks through all your documentation, makes sure you have everything, maybe asks you a little bit about yourself and why you're in Spain, takes your fingerprints. You're given a resguardo, and you can also request a justificante or an official letter of excuse of absence if you're missing anything like school or work that day. And that was the appointment. Uh, it was really easy. I just gave my documentation, submitted the copies and kept the originals. And they just told me that I was done. And I could come back in 30 to 45 days to pick up my physical card. This leads us to actually going back and getting the card or recogida. You may also be given a lote number. Your lote is essentially the spot in line that you are for when your TA card will be printed. So lotes come out kind of in batches, right? Lotes are not always publicly available. Oftentimes they're just a sign on the window of the office saying which one they're up to. Um, but there are some Facebook groups and different internet forums that have updates to the lote numbers at different locations every now and then. The lote numbers are just a way to look out for if your TA will be available before the recommended 30 to 45 day waiting period. If it is, great. If it's not, once that time has passed, you can create an appointment on the same website that we use to make the TA appointment. I guess we'll just go through it. Does this look familiar? Okay, we're gonna speed run through this and I'll show you what to do. So again, we're gonna click Madrid. As opposed to when we made our appointment, so it's going to be Policia Recogida de Tarjeta de Identidad Extranjero. Okay. Put your personal information. Now you're going to choose Solicitar Cita. We choose an office. 
make sure to go to the same office that you made your TA appointment at. For example, if you went to Aluche to get your TA appointment, you will also need to go to Aluche for your recogida. We enter our contact information. We choose a date. There are some that are available and it says the first appointment available, but you can also choose um, after a certain time of day. You have a summary page. You'll receive a text to your phone number to be able to confirm this appointment. In order to confirm this appointment, you need a Spanish phone number, please. Get a Spanish phone number while you're living in Spain. It's super important, if not simply just for these appointments. So check my phone. My code is... And confirm. You'll receive a final confirmation page with a numero de justificante and all of your information once more. For your appointment of recogida, you will need the resguardo that was issued to you at the initial TA appointment as well as some form of identification, like your passport. Go to your recogida appointment at the listed time, and at that point, you'll have your TA. Congratulations, you have finished the process. The TA process is a bit long and confusing for a lot of people. So if you have any problems uh, figuring all of this stuff out, no worries, it happens to everyone. If you have any questions about the TA, feel free to, again, check out the other videos that I've already made, or leave a comment down below with your question. Keep an eye out for more guides for new auxiliars, including the CDNS process, as well as um, how to get a regresso. And eventually down the line, I'll probably do a video about how to renew your TA. Thanks for coming along. Good luck with the rest of your paperwork and living in Spain, and I'll see you around. Hasta luego.